Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Zara and today we're going to talk about our beloved Hermes brand. I mean, there's a lot to talk about, but um, after recent Chanel increase, I've heard a lot of uh, friends and cust my, my customers, they've been saying that like, yeah, we're not going to buy from the boutiques anymore. You know, it's better to buy Hermes bag, but I mean, if you can just walk into the boutique and get an Hermes bag, it's going to be like dream come true. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. There's a pre -span. And probably you've heard about it. The only bag, the only place that you can actually score the bag, I mean, I've heard a lot of and read a lot of stories and people are saying that I just walk into the boutique and they sold me Birkin. I mean, that's very rare. Probably it happened. But the only place that you can score a bag actually without a pre spend is Paris. You have to enter their lottery. I did that and I was not lucky. Uh, so you can basically you enter to the to their system and uh, they can give you a leather appointment. So in the leather appointment, that's the that's like a holy place that you can get a bag. But to get to to get that appointment, you have to they call it lottery. You have to enter to the system. And I was not lucky, but I heard a lot of uh, good stories that you can score the bag, and I've heard people and like trying every single time when they're in France and Paris to, to, to get the appointment and they couldn't. So it's just, I guess it's just a combination of luck and probably the availability of uh, certain spots. Anyway, different countries have different pre-spend. Uh, I've heard that in Emirates, you have to spend uh, the same amount as the bag is. Here in the United States, I heard that you have to just build a relationship with the brand, constantly purchase something from them. Like, let's say you, you buy shoes and then you buy uh, something for home and then you buy uh, ready to wear and like really show them that you appreciate them and you love the brand. And then, uh, you know, you, you can introduce them to your, um, like dream bags and probably they can surprise you with one. Um, I don't play the game. I think that it's just better to score the bag that you really want and you don't have to wait and you don't have to buy the things that you don't want from the stores in pre-owned market. It's, it, it's, there are many options available. Yes, true, you are going to pay more for the bag, but you well you have to know who you're buying from you have to make sure that the seller is legit that the back is authentic that the seller has references it has a selling history you know all that um and what i was gonna say previously you gotta pay more but you can buy it back right there you know you don't have to wait you don't have to build the relationship spend money you know you're looking for the back and you want the back and you can just purchase it for um brighter colors you can get pretty much very close price to the retail but for neutral colors you have to pay like probably five ten thousand dollars on the top what the back cost in the store which is which is gonna come pretty much to the same price as you would do with the pre-spend plus the back it's personal opinion you know probably a lot of you love uh, other items from Hermes the only thing that I've been ever interested in is a Birkin bag it's, it's my favorite and um, actually I have one to show you I have it in uh, its clients consignment uh, this is vintage uh, and she actually took it to the boutique and they changed the handles they um, they changed the hardware. The back is in amazing condition. It, it does signs of wear, but considering the fact that uh, it's a vintage back, I mean, I think that it's, it's, in, a, it's, a, it's in great shape. And uh, this, is the, this, this color is very close to the current gold color that it's like most wanted color, like brownish, uh, beige. Uh, this is uh, Hermes Birkin 35 
not as popular as size 30 at the moment or 25 those are two hot sizes but i feel like you should not choose the bag depends on what's hot right now you should choose the bag depends on what fits you you know so if you're curvy if you're tall or if you're tall 30 it's it's gonna look like you know tiny on you it's not gonna look like a bag i mean it just depends uh what you're feeling but uh, i mean i never like bags because they're trendy i like the bags because they, i love how they look on me and uh you know i just like the look of the bag i don't really care honestly what's trendy what's not trendy if you have if you love 35 size and it looks good on you you should definitely uh you know go for it going back to the birkin bag um i mean it's a very special bag you can talk and talk and talk about it it has a history how i, I will talk about that in the next video but i highly suggest you um if you are looking for the bag don't buy the bag because you just you know you just seen it on someone because sometimes you see the back on someone and it looks good even even if the person has more like le more or less your shape and then you try it on and you're like oh, i don't know you know it doesn't i don't really like how it looks on, how it looks on me so if you have a chance to go to the boutique and see the back sometimes they have them see the back in person maybe they'll let you try it on and after that you can start the hunt you can decide if you want to buy it from the boutique if you want to you know go to the pre-owned market and do your search there but before that like i highly suggest the same thing with with other brands like you're looking at something online like the clothes or anything any other things that you're buying online and then you receive them and you're like oh you know it's just it doesn't meet your expectations or the size is wrong so try it on before if you have a chance if not i have um i have uh a good also like tip for you uh on amazon they sell um similar like shape bags right so you can order the size that you you're you're looking for and you can check it out and if you like it you know then you start the hunt and if you don't like it then you just return the bag and you can return the bag in either case but at least you you see the actual bag the size of the bag and you can see if you like it or not at the end i would like to also add that if you are in a hunt for a birkin bag and pre-lock market uh we're happy to assist you uh our items are always authentic and you can have peace in mind that you got to get exactly what you paid for okay thank you so much for watching you guys until next time bye